So welcome back to your weekly AI marketing and discovery news. So if you're new here, then hit subscribe. Every Tuesday, we cover the biggest changes that matter to CEOs, to founders, and to marketing directors. So Google's just flipped discovery on its head. So AI mode in Google image search is now conversational. So instead of typing a keyword, you can start with a picture or a description when you're searching and then refine the search in plain language. So make the fabric lighter or show me less baggy versions or... So this is powered by Gemini and Lens and it changes the product discovery forever. So for fashion, retail and e-commerce, this is going to be the new storefront. So if your product images are optimized with context and metadata and your products will surface first within AI engines, and if you ignore it, it just means that your products simply won't appear in AI engines and will, you know, competitors with better results visually will dominate the, the discovery path and your brand will just be invisible at the exact moment that buyers are ready to choose and more people are buying within AI. Let's talk about ChatGPT5's OpenAI model. So this has had a lot of problems when, you know, with people deep bugs and you know people that are using it for code etc so it's been a bit controversial users say ChatGPT 5 is slower it's less creative than gpt 40 for example and the router makes it unpredictable and it hallucinates quite a lot so but even OpenAI admits you know the mistakes in in those live demos it has just launched sora 2 though and this is OpenAI's new text to video model so you type a simple prompt in and it will generate a 10 second physics aware video with audio training clips ads explainers all made it made in minutes not weeks so for enterprise this means cutting production costs by up to 90 percent and then testing dozens of variations instantly for startups this is just studio quality marketing without needing a studio which is fantastic now here's something big about youtube ai engines are citing youtube more than ever so 200 times more often than they do cite text so that means people who are using Google AI mode, overviews, Gemini, ChatGPT, if they see the answers, um, then they're overwhelmingly being pulled from YouTube videos. And if you publish videos on YouTube with transcript and metadata, then AI is going to cite you. And that gives you more authority, inbound leads and trust. If you ignore it, then your competitors' videos will become the official answer that AI is going to present. Even if your written content is better, you'll still be invisible. It's a huge opportunity. YouTube right now is probably the biggest strategy that, that people could have. And Tenacious can help you with the video editing if you need that, by the way. Finally, let's talk about Reddit. So AI engines are also increasingly citing Reddit answers. Why? Because they're fresh, they're authentic, and they're user-generated and conversational. So that means your brand could show up in AI through a Reddit citation, not through your website or your blogs or your content. So what's your Reddit strategy? Like Reddit is currently responsible for 35% of all AI citations in ChatGPT, Perplexity and other LLMs as well. If you engage authentically on Reddit and FAQs, join discussions, then AI is going to treat your contribution as trusted knowledge. And that is free visibility and credibility and 35% more chance to be cited. You're going to dominate and AI will cite you instead of your competitors. So that's the big picture this week. Image search is becoming conversational. GPT-5 is powerful and polarizing and Sora makes video faster and cheaper than ever before. YouTube's now the backbone of AI answers and Reddit is quietly becoming the AI fuel source. The upside is, if you act now, you've got authority, reach and speed. The cost, if you don't, is that competitors take the advantage and AI ignores you. SEO as we know it is fading. The future is answer engine optimization and generative engine optimization. Subscribe for more weekly updates. Every Tuesday, we're gonna cover AI, marketing, leadership, branding, and give you all the updates that you need to know. We'll see you next week.